um, the, 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 the ruptures that we are seeing out there off the coast, is there any concern for tsunamis? Um, there is uh, the, the Pegasus Bay fault just that has been identified um, uh, offshore of Kaipoi is of sufficient length to generate a major major earthquake on the order of a magnitude 7 or so, which is similar to the Greendale Fault. But the, the orientation of the fault is an east-west striking fault, and from that orientation we expect the motion primarily to be side-to-side -side motion, like the uh, surface rupturing um, September earthquake. Um, so the tsunamis really get generated by vertical, big vertical displacements of the seafloor, and I don't uh, think that that fault really presents uh, a, a risk of a large tsunami. It's possible that small, that it may generate a very small tsunami, um, either by the fault rupture or by, you know, collapse of cliffs and things like that into water bodies, but I don't think that that is, um, uh, it's certainly not uh, going to be any sort of tsunami reminiscent of the Japanese or the Boxing Day sort of tsunami scenarios, which were generated by faults that had many tens of meters of slip so in a vertical motion. So, so just to clarify, when you mentioned the word 7.0 or greater, that that fault line had the potential, what, what sort of percentage do we have of a chance of getting one that big out there? Um, well, that fault has... Uh, has uh, earthquakes on the order of uh, once every many thousands of years, um, so it doesn't ha it doesn't have a uh, it has a very long recurrence interval, but because of the way that things are shifting around out there, I think it's 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 difficult for us. We don't know exactly when the last event was. It's difficult to put our finger on that precisely, and also the precise recurrence interval and whether it would continue to adhere to that that behavior is still, those are still questions that are being looked at. Um, so unfortunately, I, I don't have the answer. That's not really my, my research either. But um, yeah, we, we, it, it does present uh, a concern for us, just like a lot of other faults that we've known about in the Canterbury region for a very long time present a concern to us. So, um, but in terms of the tsunami generating potential, I'd say it's it's certainly much less than major subduction zone type systems further to the north. So.